What's going on guys and welcome to another Reputized Video. The People Under the Stairs came out back in 1991 and was directed by Wes Craven. That's right, the Screen King himself. And stars Brandon Adams, Everett Miguel, Wendy Robbie, AJ Longer, and Mission Impossible's Ming Rames, which I thought was pretty interesting, although this movie did come out before the Mission Impossible movies even came out. So that was, I thought that was pretty interesting. It follows a boy whose mother is sick and is in need of an operation, breaks into their landlord's house along with two other criminals to steal their gold. They soon realize that they, have, they need to fight for their lives against the crazy murderous landlords. I love this movie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pussyfoot around it. I love this movie. It was done really well. The positive, the cinematography work by Sandy Cecil was done really well. It was lit up just perfectly. There wasn't no shaky cameras or anything. It was just you could see everything that was going on. Don Peake's score was just amazing. As soon as the Universal logo ended, you you hear that dark score in the back and you know what kind of movie this is going to be which is really serious but I'll get to this later but there's some comedic tones to it like I said I'll get to that later. Wes Craven's direction as always was just genius. I grew up watching this man's work starting with Scream at the age of 11. Ever since then, he's been my inspiration, which is why it really saddened me when he died back in October of 2015. Like how Stan Lee's passing was here recently to a lot of Marvel fans and myself. I was deeply saddened when I heard that Wes Craven died. Now there's another man that I would never be able to meet if I ever did break into Hollywood. Those would be the only two regrets I have if I ever did break into Hollywood, was never having to meet Wes Craven or Stan Lee. The characters was done very well. I thought they presented themselves really good. I thought Wendy Robbie and Everett Miguel as the antagonist of this film did a really excellent job. They played crazy pretty well. Brandon Adams, who was the protagonist of this, did a really good job. He showed courage, who I assume was around eight or nine around this time. Ving Rams, unfortunately he wasn't in it much. But he did a pretty good job. He wasn't as comical. Of course, this was a different movie. And this was before Mission Impossible. So if you watch a Mission Impossible movie, you can expect kind of a comedic tone from him. But in this, he was more of a jerk. I I'm trying so hard not to cuss, folks. I'm sorry if I have in the past and I just didn't catch it. But he was a little bit of a jerk hole. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. There was some comedic tones to it. Like, for instance, I, I'm not going to try to spoil anything for you. I'm not going to spoil much for you. But there was this one scene where a boy, the boy was trying to get away from this dog. And he, he all of a sudden just punches it in the face like this. Yeah, so that happened and I almost fell out of my chair when I first saw that. This movie was one of those when you're a kid, it's creepy as heck. But when you grow up, you come to realize and you watch it again, you still watch it for the pure entertainment of it, but it's campy. It's funnier than creepy. And there's a bunch of scenes, which I won't ruin, but most of the comedic scenes revolved around Everett Miguel's character and the dog. Even though this man has already retired, he's no longer an actor, I read somewhere that he retired like back in the or mid to late 90s, somewhere around there. But he was an amazing actor. He did an amazing job in this. And my personal opinion, I think he retired too soon. I don't know how old he was then. He's only up there in age now. This movie was like 30 years ago, 30 to 35 years ago. But I really do think that he could have made a name for himself. Because... Other parts, he would play a bad guy in the second Under Siege movie, and he would just be intimidating to me. But in this movie, he was funny in the same way, and I think that's a really great quality for an actor to have. To make you feel fear of this character, while at the same time in other scenes, making you laugh. That's, that's a real talent. Alright, the only negative I have about it, which also revolves around Everett Miguel's character, the man. When he would shoot, he would go on this rampage trying to trying to catch people and stuff, but he would do it in a leathery outfit, and he looked like a 
porn star wannabe. And that's the only thing I didn't like about it. If I wanted to, if I wanted to look at somebody that was a porn star wannabe, I would have watched porn. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. <laughs> to me, it just kind of took me away from the movie a little bit. Luckily, the whole movie wasn't like that. Only like bits and pieces in the middle and the final climax. But other than that, I, I, I like this movie. That's the only negatives I have about it, to be honest. Like Scream, this movie felt like a, like a real good, true horror movie. Even though it was campier than what Scream was, it had more comedic tone to it. If you really watch it, especially if you watch it for the first time, it is considered, to me, one of Craven's best out of, out of all that he's done. Along with Scream, of course. My final thoughts on this movie, this movie was a true masterpiece. Wes Craven, I think he was a true filmmaker of his time. We will never get another one like him. They, like that saying goes, there's only one of each of us. And if you have a talent... Use it. You go out there and fight and make the best out of your out of, make the best of what you do. Make people know your name like Wes Craven has. Because now I think I don't know about you guys, but I think this man is one of the legends of his time, of of his filmmaking career. And he definitely knew how to make a movie and how to entice people. This movie, I recommend it for any horror fan who just wants to have a good time or wants to show it to their grandchildren or their kids or anybody who's kind of wanting to get in the horror genre. I recommend this movie, along with Scream, of course. Guys, The People Under the Stairs gets an A. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. What did you think of the people under the stairs? Did you like it as much as I did? Did you think it was too campy, too out there, or did you love it? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought. Make sure to subscribe to the Reactor Reactions Galore, which is in the description down below, and also make sure to like the Repster and the Reactor on Facebook, which is also in the link down in the description below. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace to rip out.